Howdy, hi. Uh, this is uh, a hamburger, and I'm going to add some highlights and some shadows to this to make it look a little more like it's a real thing before we turn it in. So I don't want to see a lot of kind of just flat surface, flat color in one spot. And I can see my burger here is a little... I'm going to sample this color and paint this color. Okay. Um, next thing I'm going to do is show you guys this uh, new tool here, which is the Lighten tool. Um, it will also darken too. So if you hover over this, it will tell you kind of how you can darken. Um, and that is by holding on the command key. And probably on a PC, it's gonna be control. So it's like uh, if you right click or control click on something, it will darken. Um, if you just click while this tool is selected, it will lighten. So let me show you how that works. If I just click once, Boom, it lightens it like a little bit. If I click it again, 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 okay? Let me go back a few times. I'm doing uh, Control Z to undo that. Um, so I want you all to pretend like there is a light source coming from the upper right hand part of the screen here. So the things that are facing that light source will be brighter. The things below that light source that are getting covered up will likely be darker in the shade. Um, so let's do it. I've got my lighten tool, and watch what happens if I just if I click and hold and drag. Notice that it will lighten it. It's kind of weird. Click and drag. Okay, so you can kind of like swipe across to lighten something, but it's a little touchy. If you hold down for too long and you drag for too long, it will totally go to white. Um, so I'm just gonna try that a couple times. That's kind of cool. Uh, like that. Sure. Um, I'm going to hold down the control key and darken these ones down here. So I'm going to go right like that. And you can see that that is kind of making it look cool. Um, also, I've got like this burger here. So things that are like under the burger you might want to darken. And probably what happened is this burger was originally, I'm going to sample this color and then paint in this color. So uh, originally the burger was probably designed like this. And so I'm going to use the darken tool here which is the actually the lighten tool and we'll just kind of click once whoops undo that hold down the control key click to darken so it shouldn't be totally flat like I should have areas of light areas of dark um, also you want to kind of double check your thumbnail here um, I think I could darken more than just this bottom part so I'm gonna hold down control and do those as well and now I can see kind of how a Shadow might be forming here. Uh, I'll just kind of lighten that one too. Uh, and I might want to add a few clicks for the sesame seed buns that you enjoy so much with a hamburger. Uh, just a few more details. So now I, I don't know, I like that. Um, and that's a lot better than the original. And how can I go to the original here? Um, I'm going to go to let's see if this opens a new tab. I'll show you a before and after. So here's, uh, oh, I don't have a before and after. Okay, well, you'll have to believe me. So I apologize, it's 6.50 in the morning. My zero period is starting. Um, let's show you now how to download this. Um, and that is this picture here. It looks like a little mountain with a sun next to it. That's the export command. So if you click on that, um, we are going to, so we've designed it as 16 by 16. You're gonna keep it like that. And I just want a ping file, a PNG. Um, and you're going to use this option, the first option to download. So the scale is 1.0, 16 by 16. We're downloading a PNG file. I'm going to click this button here to download it. And that gives me in my downloads folder my burger clone, which you will. Uh, upload to the assignment and I hope that you can rename this too after your name if you get this far along in the video. If not, too bad. Um, I think that's it. So after you're done with this, you're going to animate this, uh, but I do want you to turn in a still image first. So thanks. See ya.